up guys right next here ah I'm finally back on the bike I missed you little thing I missed you ah, I missed my bike ah it's been a long time been a, been a long 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 time been very 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 busy last week and finally I can ride for a while now it is 11.45 a.m. It's a Friday morning, which is in turn something like a Sunday morning to you guys um, in the U.S. or in Europe. Our, uh, our weekend here, our weekends are on Thursday and Friday. Your weekends are on Saturday and Sunday, so roads are pretty empty because it's a Friday morning now, plus in 15 minutes. It's supposed to be Friday prayer. Not 15, actually, uh, 45 minutes. It's supposed to be uh, Friday prayer. So the road's pretty empty, the weather's warm. I love the warm weather at this place, you know. If it's, you know, it's, it's warm, it's sunny, you can feel the sun, but it's still kind of windy. So the weather ain't bad at all. The weather's like pretty comfortable. Plus, I like, I like feeling warm just gets this good feeling so I got a pretty good topic today because shit's been evolving and I thought of talking about this the topic is it's all about stunt riding and how I hate that all over the world in many places stunt riding is taken as a crime. I don't really know why stunt riding is taken as a crime. Now, let's let's start out from the beginning, all right? Now, what is stunt riding? Stunt riding is um basically it's wheelies, circles, and those stoppies combos and shit if you have no idea what stunt look I'm, I'm gonna try to to not explain how what stunt riding is I'm just gonna throw in a video links in the description I'm just gonna show you guys a preview of what stunt riding is and we'll be right back We're back, and I hope you guys now have an idea of what stunt riding is. Now, just to get a point clear, in the U.S., uh, in the United States, and in some parts of Europe right now, stunt riding is starting to be recognized by many official groups such as the police and, and the community. Stunt riding is starting to be recognized and known by everyone. Which is really good. Which is very, very good. And I'm really happy that people are starting to recognize and know what stunt riding is. Because many people have a bad idea about this because of what you see on roads. Now, I totally agree with all you guys who are going to come comment probably if you are going to comment because I know people hate seeing wheelies on roads many bikers because this is what happens here especially now the police here hates all sport bikes whether whether you have your your gear on whether you uh, you ride safely whether you're not speeding the fact that because so many people uh, pull wheelies on roads, you know, pull stoppies, um, drive like lunatics, ride like lunatics on speed bikes. This kind of affects all bikes in an adverse way. 
even now scooters because um, I don't know you guys haven't seen this uh, on any of my videos before but I've been on rides with people who have this same scooter and they're doing stand-ups on this same highway on my right stand-up wheelies on a scooter on a highway so now it's affecting everyone because in a police's perspective or in, or, in a, or in an officer's point of view if he's seen a majority of the sport bikes doing that so he just thinks all bikers are that way all bikers do that stuff all bikers pull wheelies and all bikers aren't following rules so it's affecting many um, people who follow rules in an adverse way so I totally agree with everyone who says that um, these stunts shouldn't be performed um, in, on public roads or, or, and on streets. Not only for the biker's safety, but also for, for uh, other people's safety. Because if a biker, um, you know, these stuff, like when, when you're in a wheelie, you could lose control at any moment. And if a biker loses control at any moment, it ends up falling on a highway. Um, if someone could simply crash into him or possibly run him over and he would end up in an injury. Now, that driver shouldn't be held guilty in absolutely any way because that, that biker he was pulling a wheelie showing off and he ended up falling. So you can't blame that driver. He was driving safely following the speed limit and a biker suddenly falls in front of him. So. We, you, I mean, innocent people can be blamed for some things they shouldn't be blamed for or they shouldn't be held guilty for. That's a thing. Now, um, second thing, now, however, however, now let's take it, let's look at this as an opposite, uh, the positive side. Um, if there are stunters who are performing these stunts and wheelies in circles in places um, where they aren't holding any people or putting any people in danger why are people or officers or uh, authorities or why is the law not agreeing to that here um, I know people and I'm gonna show you guys some footage if not uh, if, if I'm not gonna film that tonight then uh, really soon coming this week i'm going to show you guys a, a video for these the dudes practicing uh, we practice in a parking lot of a, uh, th there's this mall you know uh, it's fully built but um it's it's not it's not being used people aren't using it it just didn't it didn't cut the chase it didn't, it didn't cut the deal mall isn't really successful so the parking lot is very huge and it's absolutely empty it's absolutely empty and we're just using a small we're using just a small part of it you know we're not using it it's not like we're we're taking up the whole lot or something we're just using a small section of a huge lot so we're not putting any lives in danger they're not putting any lives in danger we're doing what we like to do in a safe and controlled environment so if if we're if stunting is being performed or if that stunt is being performed in a safe and controlled environment, why do you want to stop us? We're not putting lives in danger in any in, in absolutely any in any absolutely any way. So that's what kind of that's what kind of disappoints me because we totally understand the fact that we shouldn't be doing this on public roads and on streets. Okay, so what if we're doing it like um? What if we're doing it um, on, uh, you know, like private parking lots in places where we aren't disturbing the peace or we aren't producing any disturbance? Because even in that lot, there aren't any houses or villas around that could be uh, adversely maybe disturbed by the noises of the bikes or something. So we're absolutely not disturbing the peace or we're not disturbing the people or absolutely anyone. So why are you stopping us, or why are you, or why do you think we're doing something illegal? All right, if you think we're doing, if 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 you don't like what we're what we're doing, and if you think it's illegal, provide us with a place to do that. 
instead of calling us criminals and chasing us down and crashing into us just to stop us because here police officers really take it to the limits they really do take it to the limits they crash into bikers to stop them previously uh, calling many lives causing many deaths due to their I know they're following their, 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 their duties and jobs but not to the point where you claim lives all right, you're claiming lives of people here. I know, I mean, a person pulled a wheelie. That doesn't mean you chase him down and kill him because you crashed into him. He pulled a wheelie, all right? Now, look, I don't want to be blaming officers, but I want to say that I'm in between. I'm, I'm kind of 50-50, no, 50-50, I'm 50-50. I'm siding for officers, but I'm also siding for the bikers. If you don't like us doing something like that on public roads, provide us with a place to do it, and we'll be doing it there. Like, provide us with parking lots. Look at this huge piece of land. Absolutely nothing is being done with this piece of land. You could give us that piece of land, or even a small part of it, we'll make it into a parking lot and we'll use it for, for, for practicing or doing what we like to do. Instead of making absolutely no use of these pieces of land, and I'm not talking about this only piece of land, Jeddah is absolutely full of empty land. Nothing but sand, you know, that's all you'll see. In many places, you'll just find empty roads, empty parking lots, if they're not being used for something useful to the community, provide us with that piece of land and we won't do that on public roads. But if, if we can't even find a place where we can enjoy what we like to do, then why blame us if we do it on roads? Anyways, um... Yeah, I, I basically don't think, um, I mean, so my whole point is, if stunt riding is done in a safe and controlled environment where you don't disturb people, you don't disturb the peace, you don't disturb anyone at all, and you're not putting any lives at risk, then it shouldn't be taken as a crime. 